Hey, so in today's video, we're going to be finishing up our tic-tac-toe app. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the last video, I made a tic-tac-toe app in Flutter. From scratch, I really didn't know how I was going to make it. I just figured out along the way how I'm going to do it. The main game logic is done, so if you didn't see that video, it's best for you to watch it before watching this one. So basically, we have our game here, and whenever we... Whenever a certain player wins, it just outputs to the console player x1 or, or player 01. Now we need to refine it a little bit. We're going to show a dialogue to the user. This and this player 1, give him the opportunity to restart. So let's do that. First of all, here we have our winning case. So when any of these players win, it basically prints to the screen, this and this player one, not to the screen, but to the console, and it restarts our matrix, it empties it up again. So now I'm going to figure out how am I going to display a pop-up and alert dialogue in Flutter, because I've never done that myself, so let me figure that out, and then we're just going to create it and see how it works out. Okay, after two and a half minutes of googling, I think I am now an expert in creating dialogues in Flutter. So here in this if statement, we're not going to do this. We're going to call function show dialogue and now we're going to create it because there's going to be quite a bit of code and I don't want to write too much code in one function. So let's create our show dialogue function and there we'll show our dialogue where when the user clicks, it's going to pop the dialogue and restart the game. Okay, so for this, we're going to use a show dialogue function, which is a built-in Flutter function, and we'll need to give it a build context, and we'll need to give it a builder, which is basically going to specify how the whole thing is built. So let's see how are we going to do that. Okay, so now, okay, so now I've given the show dialogue its build context, and I just created this empty builder function. So here we should return a widget which is going to be shown. We're going to return the standard alert dialogue widget, which I think is a built-in material widget, and there we're going to specify everything our dialogue needs. Okay, so here I've created this alert dialogue, which has a title that's called Game Over. It has this text that says player one and it has its actions we're just going to have one action which is going to be reset game and now i think we need to pass down to this show dialog function which player won because it currently does not know what to display so let's do that okay now that we pass down this player to our show dialog function as a winner parameter we need to use it okay now this is basically going to output the same thing we output it to the console earlier it's just going to output player and whatever the winner is x or o one and it's going to have a button that will be reset game and when it gets pressed i think we need to pop the dialog and reset the whole game first let's see if this even shows the dialog okay so here we have our app now let me play the game and get a winner Okay, it is what it is. It says game over, player 01, reset game. And when I click reset game, basically nothing happens. Now we're going to implement our own press method and it's going to remove the alert dialog and reset the whole game. Okay, now I've implemented this onPressed method and it just removes the dialog from this navigator stack or whatever and it initializes the matrix again so it can be empty and we can play again. Okay, so I just tried testing this app and I've encountered a very, very interesting problem. So as you can see here, we have all of this stuff and we play the game and everything. And we have a player that's won and when I click reset game, nothing happens. And now when I click on a certain field, then the game is restarted. I'm not sure what's causing this. I'm really not sure. I'll try and figure out how to go around this problem and I'm going to check in with you later. Okay, I've just figured out what the problem was. It's a very stupid mistake because whenever I'm changing a state of the widget, I need to call set state and then change the state that the widget is using. So here I just wrap this init matrix in set state and it reinitialized everything. So now that I I try to play the game and I get the winner I click reset game and it really resets the game 
What happens when we don't have a winner? Like here, nothing happens and I cannot restart the game manually or I don't get anything that shows to me hey the game is over, no one won. So I really should address this somehow. Uh, I think I should check out if all the matrix fields are filled up and if every single one of them is filled up then I'll show the same dialogue just saying no winner, reset the game. Okay so here we are in our function where we build out each and every one of these elements and and whenever one of them is tapped it changes the matrix field and then it checks for the winner. I'm going to also add a function that's called check draw which is going to return true or false and if it returns true then I'm going to show the dialogue that's going to be like the game is over that's it and reset the game. If it returns false then I'm going to call check winner. So let's make that happen. Okay so here I wrote this check draw function which goes through the whole matrix and if so default value is that it it is draw we assume that it's draw and if it has any of the empty fields it obviously isn't and then it returns that it's not draw I think this will work so let's go to this build element function okay so here we have our check draw and if it returned true we would show dialog and here we'll say null and I'm going to add to our show dialog if the text passed is null then that means that we don't have a winner and it will just display we do not have a winner or something like that but if this returned false we can check the winner as we would have done by default okay so now let's add this if winner is equal to null text to our show dialog function and I think we can wrap it up so here we are in our show dialog function and now we'll check if our winner is null. Okay, so here's how I changed this up. We have dialog text variable and we initialize it dependent on if winner is null or if it's not. If it's null, then it's a draw and if it's not, then we give out who the player who won is. And we use this dialog text as our content for our alert dial. Okay, so we can now test this app. Let's do that. Okay, so here I have our app and let me see if the standard of us getting a winner is actually still work. Okay, so here we have a no, then we have an X, then we have a no, then we have an X, then we have a no, and our player 01. And now let's try without having a winner. Okay, and our draw logic is working over here but I think we have a bug. If we fill out every single one of these fields, I mean, if we have only one field left and a player clicks and then he wins, it's going to say it's a draw because that's the last field we filled up because here we have our change matrix field and it doesn't matter if someone won in the last turn where the whole matrix got filled up, it's going to say that we don't have a winner. So when we check if it's draw, I don't know. I don't know how we should approach this. I mean, for simplicity, we we're going to check if we have a winner, but I don't know, I don't know how, how are we going to approach this. We would need some code refactoring over here. This check winner should not show dialog. Okay, okay, I think I know how we're going to approach this. Our check winner is not going to dictate if we're showing the dialog or not. It's just going to return true or return false. And then in our build element function, we're going to have is winner is going to be check winner, I end j and now i think if is winner we're just going to show the dialog okay and if he did not win if no one won then we check if check draw and then we show dialog with null okay and we don't need this variable okay so what what did i just do here our check winner function is now not dictating if we're showing the dialog who is the winner because I mean in the first place it shouldn't but it also makes stuff a whole lot easier in this in this case so we check who do if there is a winner and if there is then we show the dialog and the dialog says which player won but if no one won then we check if our matrix got filled up and if it did then we show the dialogue that it's a draw. So let me test this out and see if this works. Um, okay. Okay, so here player X1, but we didn't fill up the whole matrix. Let me try and fill it up. 
I'm gonna put a no here and next here and a no here okay here it's a draw but now let me get into a case where we have just one field left but we know who is going to win so let me see if I can get us into that situation put an X here we put a no here and now all we need to do is put an X here and if my logic worked out correctly we should get player x1 but if it didn't it will show that it's a draw and here it says that player x1 so i think we covered all the use cases for this game that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments or contact me on instagram twitter or wherever uh, this project will be up on github the link is in the description the last part is also in the description so check all that great stuff out and i'll see you next time